Hi, I'm John Kendall, product manager at Cockroach Labs. Cockroach DB has always been a natural fit for deploying and running within Kubernetes. You simply attach storage however you want, and Cockroach DB handles the scale, resilience, and distribution of your data. Cockroach DB and Kubernetes complement each other so well because they share the same distributed shared nothing architecture. And to make operating Cockroach DB within Kubernetes even easier, we built an operator, a Kubernetes operator. Now for context, an operator is a software extension of Kubernetes, serving as automation for typical human operator tasks. Now in a moment, I'm going to demo the Cockroach DB Kubernetes operator and how it makes it easy to create secure Cockroach DB clusters, configure storage, scale up and down, and perform rolling upgrades. Let's get started. We are starting with the Kubernetes operator already installed. The Kubernetes API has been extended to include CockroachDB, and the operator pod is already up and running. And we can verify that by running get pods. And now towards creating a secure cluster, we're looking at the example YAML file, which gives us structure to declaratively communicate with the API server our desired state. So at the top of the file, the CRDB cluster kind field allows us to use the CockroachDB custom resource that's understood by the Kubernetes API. Under metadata name, CockroachDB, we've named our CRDB cluster that. And under spec, that whole section allows us to, allows us to declare a complete desired state for the CRDB cluster named CockroachDB. Under PVC, which stands for a persistent volume claim, we configure storage. And under resources, we get to declare our desired number of CPU and amount of memory. TLS enabled set to true ensures that we're creating a secure cluster. Image name allows us to specify our desired version of Cockroach DB to run. And nodes allows us to configure the scale at which we operate. Image name and nodes come into play later when we perform rolling upgrades and scaling up and down. And now let's create a secure cluster by declaring our desire for one to the API server using the example YAML that we were just looking at. We can follow progress of this cluster creation by looking at get pods. And we'll know that we have a three node secure cluster created when we have CockroachDB zero through two in a running state. And it appears now we have our three node secure cluster up and running. And now that we've been able to declare to the API server our desire for a secure cockroach cluster, why don't we verify what the API server was able to make for us by looking at the describe output for a CRDB cluster that we've named CockroachDB. And this looks as expected. The storage has been configured as we've wanted it to. And the image name is using the version of Cockroach that we specified. Number of nodes set to three is correct and our resources are set properly along with making it a secure cluster. On to scaling up and down. And let's demonstrate those operations by using this cluster to scale from three to five nodes. And we can follow the progress of the Kubernetes API responding to our request by looking at Git pods. And we'll have successfully scaled from three to five nodes when we have cockroach DB zero through four in a running state. And we have successfully scaled from three to five nodes with now having five nodes in a running state. And now let's perform rolling upgrades, which allows us to perform a major version upgrade from 20.1 to 20.2 in this example. And all we have to do is tell the API server that we want 20.2 and the operator does the rest. It performs the upgrade and, and does the behind the scenes magic, replacing the human operator tasks. And we get a new version upgrading each pod at a time with no downtime. So let's do it. And just like last time, we can look at Git pods to follow the status of each of the pods. And while this is running, why don't we also look at the operator pod logs?
And what's interesting to see here is it's doing the control loop logic as the custom controller for the, for the cockroach DB part of this Kubernetes cluster. You see, reconciling cockroach DB cluster, so that's it stating that it's doing the control loop where it watches what we want and the current state of the operator and tells the API server what we should be doing. And in this case, it's checking for upgrade opportunities because we're upgrading from 20.1 to 20.2 for this cluster. And to demonstrate no downtime, why don't we look at opening up a SQL shell by opening up one in one of the pods. And voila, we have a SQL shell in one of the pods while the cluster is being updated. And after all the pods have been brought down into a terminating state, updated to the proper version and brought back all to a running state, we'll have succeeded in performing the rolling upgrade. And the rolling upgrade process is complete. And to wrap up, the CockroachDB Kubernetes operator makes it easy to create secure CockroachDB clusters, configure storage, scale up and down, and perform rolling upgrades. And I encourage you to experience it yourself. Check out our GitHub repository and documentation linked in the description. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.